Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of January. Uh, if you are new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I am what's called a clairsentient. Uh, it's a heightened form of empathy and I read people. That's where I do my best work and that's where I shine. I get a lot of feedback from people after I do a private reading about how I'm right on about the person they're inquiring about. Um, they can't believe they they say you you talk about this person like you know them So that is where I do my best work. I also do tarot cards um, I read tarot cards, but I'm best at reading people So uh, when you get a private reading from me, I do an energy reading and I do a tarot spread This is what I do. This is uh, you know, it comes naturally to me. I really love doing that part of the reading the best um this reading here is not going to resonate with every Sagittarius out there. It's only going to be um, for a few of you. So if you want to get a private reading, email me. My email will, email address will be at the bottom of the video. And um, I will get back to you within 24 hours. Readings are out within 48 hours. All right. Um, I want to thank everyone for, for watching my videos, for subscribing, uh, for watching and if these messages resonate with you, I'm really happy. I'm glad that I can provide that service for you. Okay, so I'm using the Lenormand deck this month. I got myself, actually my son got me this reader's cloth uh, for Christmas and I really just love it. And you can see it's purple. Purple is like indigo. It's the third eye. It uh, Purple opens up the third eye more. So um, that was very nice of him. I couldn't believe he got that for me. I've always been wanting to get a reader's cloth, but um, never got around to it. And he got it for me for Christmas. It was really nice. So, all right, I'm using the Lenormand deck and I will shuffle and take the first card from the deck, whichever one I feel prompted to take. Okay, I feel like this should be it. This comes up, this has come up for three uh, different um astrology signs all right so there's the clover and because you can see it's the number two um that's going to be the next card will be the number two so i'm going to shuffle and pick one two okay there's the bouquet so the next card will be the the ninth card okay one two three four five six seven eight nine there's the anchor, that's number 35. Might not be enough cards in the deck because this is the second last card. There's 36 cards, so I'll put them all down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33. Okay, so went through all the cards. In a shuffle. 34 and 35. There's the sun. That's the last card. Okay, so the first card we have here is the card that comes up in the past position. Could be just the near past. And that is the clover. And this talks about a lucky connection that you would have with somebody. It's about laughing, happiness, harmony, joy, fun. It's an optimistic card. Um, someone who's easy to deal with. This is typically um, about humbleness. Um, and it represents a very positive person, always seeing the light side of things and a sense of humor. Okay, so in a relationship, this talks about a lucky connection or a lucky connection. Okay. All right, so this comes up in the past. So you could have, in the recent past, met this person. All right, the next card is the present situation. And that is the tulips. I believe it's the tulips is the flowers. All right, so are you having fun with this person right now? It's about fun times, happy times, people coming, um, having fun, fun with your friends. This is a person that is charismatic. Um, and uh, someone who has respect for others. Uh, and so this could be going on in your love life right now. Very lucky connection. 
And then you have uh, these flowers, which is um, good times. Are you having good times with this person right now? All right, next card is number 35, and that is the um, anchor. And so the anchor is the hidden influence. And this talks about um, uh, having self-confidence. And it's about, could be codependency. It is a long-term relationship. And it's about, could be hanging on too much. Are you codependent in this relationship? All right. This is about... Um, uh, what settles you in life and what you are doing in your life okay are you being codependent on this relationship even though it's a really nice happy connection it talks about just be careful not to be too codependent the hidden influence here okay then we have the advice so the advice card is um the sun okay and this talks about um It talks about uh, strength, all right? So the advice is here that you do have strength, okay? And um, being self-confident and giving and generous. It, this is all, you know, very positive cards. So the advice here is be self-confident, giving, generous, loyal, kind, trusting, but don't be codependent. Because it is a very nice relationship. Let go of the control a little bit if that's what's going on here. Okay? All right. So the next card will be all the cards added up together. Okay? So here we have number 2 and 9 is 11. That I'm going to break down to number 2. And then 35 plus 2 is 37. And 3 is 7 breaks down to 10. And 3 and 1 breaks down to 4. And 10 and 4 will be 14. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, that's upside down. There we go. So, here we have the likely outcome, which is the clouds. And so, this card talks about... Um, It could be at the likely outcome. This could be somewhat stressful by the end of the month. Um, it's about disharmony. And you could be, work could be overwhelming this situation. But you can see here um, that the darkness is on the left. The light is on the right. And as you are moving through this, this is going behind and this is moving forward. Okay, so, okay, so whatever is on the light side of the card, next to it are lighter situations. And whatever is on this side would be heavier situations. Okay, so this side, it's problematic. This side, it's talking about being lightening up. So there could be some problems here, even though things are going well. It's going to lighten up even more, okay? Don't be so codependent on this person, okay? That's what this, this hidden influence is here, okay? It could cause some problems. All right, now I will pull a card. I will let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. All right. Okay, okay, I let that fall out. All right, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to fun, sorry, spirit of fun to shine. All right, don't be so codependent. Have fun. This is a fun relationship, a lucky connection. All right. Um, in the end, it'll be all right. Okay, just don't be codependent on this, this relationship here. All right. Okay, so that is your reading 
for all of you Sagittarius's out there for the month of January. Again, if you're interested in a private reading, email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Thank you and have a great month. Bye-bye.